Hi there, let's get it out of the way. I am sweaty and red because I just got home, or I'm just leaving the gym. So sweaty, red, blotchy face. We get it, I know, that's out of the way. Okay, um, I wanted to come on here and discuss uh, something that I'd kind of forgotten about. Hang on, let me just make sure no cars are coming. Okay, they're not. Um, something, uh, I was listening to Eckhart Tolle. Whoop, that's great. I was listening to Eckhart Tolle, um, on the, cause I do that on the way home and not home. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'm kind of back at the, this part where he talks about how your primary purpose is whatever you're doing in that moment. And the secondary purpose is basically what you're accomplishing, like walking across the room to pick up your phone, your, your, your job, your purpose is to walk across the room is the, in the walking, in the moment. And that the secondary purpose is to pick up the phone, right? that sort of thing and when I look at it that way like it, that just really helps me um that just really really helps me in the way I think about things because right now you know I'm driving back to the house and my purpose right now in this moment the only thing I have to do is drive <laughs> the only thing I have to do and that is I'm doing it I'm doing it well and that's something to be proud of and living in the moment's great so that's pretty awesome um so that really, really helps. And the other thing is, he kind of goes on to this, you know, uh, this weaves in with it is uh, that uh, when you live that way, you can become uncomfortable. Uh, you can be comfortable with servant. You can become comfortable with uh, brain uncertainty. And when you become uncomfortable, <laughs> we've got some brain glitches happening. When you become comfortable with uncertainty, fear goes, and you can like you can you don't have to be fearful anymore because no matter what happens, it's all right. <laughs> it's like I don't know what's happening, and the the purpose of it is like the. I'm just gonna live in the now, right? Like in the whatever happens, is is fine, you know. And that's something I'm kind of I've kind of been pondering of late because uh, it's, it's uncertain now whether or not I'm gonna be able to get down to Florida. It's so beautiful out. Look at the trees. Look at the trees. Look at the trees. Okay, I hope you saw the trees and not like the ceiling or something. But there's the trees. See the trees? You see them? so pretty um okay so yeah so I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna be able to get down to Florida um, for the summit because um, I you know because of the money situation um, I, I the tickets to the airplane tickets are bought the hotel is booked I just don't think I don't know if I will have the money to pay for the hotel and pay for staying down there um, and also have enough in reserves when I come back so that I'm not worried about money because I'm really sick of being worried about money. Like, I'm really tired of it. <laughs> you know, and then every other time I've gone down to the summit, I, um, or anything down in Florida with the, with the Alchemist Nation, I go down with very little, if any, like, like barely enough money to get by and make it back. And I always think, oh, well, you know, I'll get business while I'm there and, you know, I'll get money, you know, some money will come out of it and it never does. <laughs> I mean, business, sure. You know what I mean? Like we get clients or whatever, but I don't make money at the summit and I don't make enough to like come back, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and not be concerned about what I'm doing. So I am uncertain whether or not I'm going down there, but you know what? That's okay. And the thing I was concerned about there though, is like, I'm okay either way because there are pros and cons of both. I want to be at the point where I'm okay either way, whether, no matter what I actually want, like I'm living in the uncertainty. I'm just driving. That's my purpose right now. And, um, and that's, that's okay. You know what I mean? And whatever happens is fine. That's really what I want to get to is that. I'm in the old people community now. Anyway, so I just thought I would um, I'd come on here and kind of share that. I don't know about you guys, about how you're living with uncertainty. 
<sighs> Ooh, or fulfilling your purpose. But um, I just want to say that I am grateful for Eckhart Tolle and the insights and the thoughts um, that he provides for me. So I'm just going to pull into the garage and get out of the car, go take a shower and do my work. And I'm grateful for all of that, which means that you too <laughs> can always choose to have a grateful day.